and welcome to Megan's Music Monday, the show that's all about local bands. Well, we have some great performances on the show and a chance to get to know a whole lot more about these bands. Coming up on tonight's show are Touring Barcelona, Wise Little Monkeys, Fata Morgana, Friday Nights, and Where We Lay Our Heads. A fantastic lineup for you indeed. So let's see who's up first on Megan's Music Monday. All right, we're Touring Barcelona. I'm Jason, the singer. I'm Aaron, I play trumpet. I'm Chris, and I play lead guitar. Uh, Finley and I play bass. I'm Sean, and I play drums. Turning Barcelona to set, please. Barcelona kicking off the show with their new song Amber Heard and join with me for a little chat are Finley, Jason and Sean. Welcome guys, come in, come in. take a seat. So the name
nickname Touring Barcelona. Where did that come from? Okay, it's down to me. Um, basically, it was, it was, it's, there's really not a good story to it. It was basically, we were kind of in a practice one time, and we were joking about all the places that we could kind of visit in the future. And we were saying, oh, before you know it, we'll be touring Barcelona. And um, we kind of just decided to stick with the name until we thought of something better, but clearly we didn't, so we just, we just rolled with that name now. So. so have any of you ever been to Barcelona? Uh, yeah, I've been. I went as a part of like a trip around Europe. Okay, once, that's yeah, cool. so, yeah, it was good. A lot of good music going on and stuff like that, so yeah. Interesting. Mm. So you've got a new PE out. Tell yeah, us a little bit about uh, that. It's already out. It's called Dirt in Disguise. There's four songs on it, and there's, it's sort of like a collection of uh, the best material we've uh, written so far. So, uh, yeah, some really good stuff on it. So Great. You also made a documentary about the making of it. Tell us a little bit about how that came around. Uh, yeah, our guitar player lives with a, a filmmaker, so he wanted to, to do something about it, and he just kind of came in on some practices and caught us doing a lot of like our usual sort of nonsense we speak to each other and <laughs> uh, kind of picked out the good bits and made a documentary out of it um, and filmed us. It was a bit quite disconcerting actually. <laughs> you know, just like sitting there pointing a camera as we were practicing. But um, yeah, so that kind of went on. It's on YouTube and things like that. You'll watch it. There's a few trailers coming up of us just being a bit ridiculous and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's cool. It's pretty good. Great. So, so for your fans and etc., how would do you Facebook, Twitter for them to get in contact with you guys? Yeah, we're on pretty much everything. We've got like Twitter, Facebook, we've got like a WordPress and we've got like, uh, we've got someone working on our website yeah. which is going to be up and running soon, so okay. yeah, it's quite easy for And that'll kind of give all like the gig listings and stuff like mm -hmm. that, so kind of, and give everybody a bit more information about the band. Yeah. So. Keeping yeah. them all informed, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's main great. One, main one's probably Facebook. But yeah, yeah no, it's one probably one easiest. Once you get to Facebook, you can find everything else from there, yeah. I think. So. Mm -hmm. so what's next for touring Barcelona then? Uh, a few gigs coming up this month. Um, Where are they being held? Are they local or? Uh, we're playing Kilmarnock's Dirty Weekender. Yes. I uh, don't know where that is. Um, <laughs> Kilmarnock, presumably. <laughs> um, we're playing McSorley's. The, McSorley's on the 9th uh, in Glasgow on Jamaica Street. We are also playing at the. What was it, the Creative Cultural Industries Festival? Yeah. Something. So we should other, be headlining, I think. Which we're supposed to be headlining, so. We're doing that this month, and then it'll probably be a few months off for the for the summer, and then back at it in September. So. Yeah. yeah, so well deserved rest. Yeah, uh, well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so we just thought we'd give you guys a little quiz on how much you know about Barcelona, so <laughs> the title and everything. So. Okay. All right. Okay. So you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is Barcelona located northeast or southeast of Spain? Um, northeast. northeast. That's correct. <laughs> well done. Well done. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I knew that. <laughs> Population 1.6 or 2.6 million? Oh, I didn't have How no big idea. is it, Jason? Uh, been? Oh, I only went to the one sort of bit. How <laughs> uh, <laughs> many people did it look like there was there? It looked, it looked like about 2.6. Two 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 yeah. We'll go 2.6. 1.6. Like. Oh, oh, so close, guys. Oh, what? 1.6. <laughs> yeah, 2.6 is ridiculous. And what stadium did the football team Barcelona play at? Oh. Uh, Barcelona football. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the football team. Barcelona football stadium. Stadium <laughs> park. You're very close. It's actually New Camp. New, I was. So. I can see how I was close. <laughs> to the was done. Well, that was great, guys. Thanks for coming in. Well, a huge thanks to Tyrion Barcelona for joining us tonight. Time to get to another band in the studio with us. Let's see who's going to be. I'm Chloe, and today I present to you Wise Little Monkeys. Hi, I'm Sidoy. Hi, I'm Holly. Hi, I'm next. Why
Lies Little Monkeys with their song Wonder, and they're here with me now. Welcome, guys, Holly, Louise, and Celia. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. So, how did the band come together? Uh, we were friends. I met Liz and uh, Holly here in Scotland, and I had this song about monkeys, and I wanted to do it, so we did it. <laughs> okay. um, has it been performing together then? Um, See, so we put on a festival last month, yeah. and then yeah, we got a chance to perform there, which was really good uh, within the university, and we've had a couple of performances as well locally in air. It's been good fun. <laughs> Great, doing well. Um, Holly, has there been any bands or personal singers that have inspired you? Yeah, well, I play guitar, so I'm really influenced by like 1960s guitarists like Davy Graham and Bert Yanch, and Lisa's quite into that sort of thing yeah. as well. Just yeah, a eclectic folk. sort of. Yeah, mix yeah. of yeah. different Great. things. See, so, I like, can't help but wonder. You're from France. What's the local music like where you're from? Um, where I'm from, there is like uh, I think the big thing in France is more like e electronic music. There is a lot of band like C2C or um, people are working with that, like Mesparo and yeah, this is a big thing. Right. Like. And about the name Wise Little Monkeys, how did that come about? Uh, it's about the three little monkeys of wisdom. It's a tale like from uh, Confucius. Uh, it's Chinese, Chinese philosophy, yeah. and yeah, there is one who is blind, one who is uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> deaf, and deaf, deaf and dumb. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well, we thought we'd quiz you on how much you guys know about monkeys. A little <laughs> true or false thing coming up. So, okay. <laughs> are you ready? So, a group of monkeys is called a troop. True or false? I think that's true. Yeah, I would say true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Final answer. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Some monkeys eat reptiles. True or false? I would say true. Quite, yeah. I would say true. Do you think they're quite scaly? Are they not? <laughs> I don't know. I would say, I would say, uh, I would say false, but I would say true. Yeah. Well, see, Louise, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and all monkeys in the wild live in trees. True or false? False. false. Definitely false. false. Correct. False. Well done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well. Thanks for coming in. Thank Any other guests idea. coming up that we should keep an eye out for? And next month we've definitely got one in air uh, basement, so just keep following our online media pages. And yeah. Facebook. So you've got like Facebook and Twitter, etc. Yeah, we've got and a YouTube channel which has got kind of behind the scenes footage just of us talking okay. about our influences and um, mm -hmm. us practicing. There <laughs> is the, the SoundCloud too, you, where you can listen our music. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's your YouTube address just so we can all just get that? Just be Wise Little Monkeys if you yeah. search that. There's quite a few hits on those videos, so it should come up. Awesome. Great. Well, thanks for coming mm -hmm. in, you guys. It's been great chatting with you. Thank thanks you. to the Wise Little Monkeys there. We've still got loads coming up on Megan's Music Monday. Time for another band to join us, whoever it may be. Corey, and I present to you, Fatima Gana. Hi, I'm Angia, and I sing. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I sing. Hi, I'm Lucy, and I sing. Hi, I'm
recently formed Fata Morgana and they're here with me now Andrea, Sophie and Lisa come on in take a peek guys okay. <laughs> welcome to the show oh, thank you so you guys have recently got together how did that come about um well basically me and Lisa get the train to uni from Glasgow like every day and uh, we've always been moaning about how we don't have a band and really wanted to make something to do with our course and we kind of said why don't we just go into the studio we'll just go for it and it just so happened that day Sophia was bored I don't know what were you even doing you were doing nothing you just I was doing nothing and I was like I'll come down and like chill and play piano with you and then yeah just that was right, obviously yeah. we started working our first track and history was made <laughs> so what would you say Fat and Morgana are all about music wise and I wouldn't say we have a set kind of genre though. It's no, it's a kind of mix of like everybody's kind of individual tastes. Like I think if the good thing is is that we write all of our music together as a group. Like we don't kind of have one person coming in saying this is everybody's part. We all contribute, and I think if only one person was writing the music, it would sound totally different and very samey. But the fact that we've all got different influences and like more influence on one song than another and stuff, it just kind of changes the the kind of styles of the song but kind of keeps them us which is cool i think that's Great. that's yeah <laughs> so your song tropical heat wave how was that written under influence or did do you all have a say um, in it i came up with a wee guitar part um and i was like showing it to lisa and andrea and they were just sitting chilling and like, <laughs> so she had the you had lyrics yeah I'd, i like because i kind of write a lot of the lyrics and um i'd written lyrics to like the tune of another song that I really liked, but I just completely changed the lyrics and I was like, mm, let's see if this works and and it did and it was totally fluked, <laughs> totally fluked, but um, that was just it and we just kind of rolled with it and got it done in a day. Like once we kind of got started, mm -hmm. wow, yeah, impressive. So, so Lisa, do you uh, group have any upcoming gigs that we should be looking um, up for? We've got one coming up at the basement in here again um, on the 9th of May. Okay, we've been asked back to play again, so. That's our next one. After that, we've got a few in the works, but nothing set and solid yet. So. And are you going to be performing the world famous Fatima Morgana dance for us? Uh, Give it a whirl. Go on. Putting <laughs> <laughs> too much pressure on me. Dance is amazing. She's amazing at the dance. Come on. Yeah, let me think about it first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kind pull your hands back in, uh -huh. and just kind of pull them around, <laughs> and then just shake your bum. 
Like, we're swinging from side to side. We're just going to actually do this in any of our life experiences. That's that. You've done it. Does that make me part of the band now? Can I just stand in the background? In fact, no one really does it. No one really does it except Lisa. Apart from Lisa. We love just she's Well, you have to start it back up. Yeah, exactly. You two, you can come in as a fucking dancer. So... For your fans to follow, do you, do you guys have Facebook, Twitter, any yep. of the likes? Facebook, Twitter. We just released Tropical Heatwave um, on SoundCloud for a free download for a limited time. Um, so yeah, most social me media networks were on. Just all. search for us and you'll hopefully find us and not a okay. Ukrainian <laughs> 80s metal band that we okay. also find out our name. <laughs> but I'm hoping that I don't you know, look like them or I'm going to need to start shaving. So... Um, <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> so. Well, before you guys go, we're going to get to know a bit more about you. So, most likely to get really drunk on a night out. Who do we know? <laughs> so guilty. <laughs> no. Yeah. The <laughs> organiser of the band, the most. Me. Andrea. Yeah, Andrea. I have um, the snaps. Because I don't have a drummer just now, <laughs> I want to keep things in time. I have to keep snapping in the <laughs> And the most likely to leave for a solo career. Under those sadness if Fat Morgana were to break Ooh, up. Oh, I don't, Ooh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe any of us would do that. I wouldn't do I don't that. think we would. No. We say this, but, but you mentally do, we're thinking. Like Beyonce, and Beyonce did the same thing to Destiny's Child. Oh. And you oh, do love her, I'm not so. saying anything. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> well, we hope that doesn't happen. No, <laughs> not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys, for coming in. Thanks I had a great chat with you. Don't forget, if you like anything you hear on tonight's show, check out these bands, following them on Twitter or Facebook. Next, a fantastic duo ready to mesmerize us with their amazing new song. Hi, I'm Leica, I'm the promoter. Hi, I'm Emma, I'm the manager, and we present Friday Nights. Hi, I'm Buddy, and I play guitar and I sing. And I'm Alex Murray, and I do vocals and guitar. Friday Nights for set, please! <laughs>
Well, ladies, one just for you. That was As Years Go By from the Friday Nights, my new favorite night of the week. And I'm joined now by Patty and Alex from the band. Thanks for coming in, you guys. No just for my only guilty pleasure, I'm going to get you guys to sign this first CD for me before you leave. No worries, that's fine. That's fine. So, we'll do it then, so yeah. you've both been in bands before and experiences and everything. Has that helped with you progressing to when you're in now? Um, I think it has, yeah, because I think some of the mistakes we made in like, previous bands, we've sort of learned from them. Try mm -hmm. to not make these mistakes and like, yeah. and other sort of musical stuff are involved in. So yeah, get a much mature approach to it now. I think mm -hmm. just because mm -hmm. we've made all we've made all the silly mistakes with our previous band, so it's mm -hmm. kind of I'd skip in that stage. Like. Yeah. yeah. Um, Paddy, you performed at the main stage of the O2. Mm -hmm. How was that for you? Oh, it was amazing. It was a really good experience. It was a great night. Um, probably the best part. It was uh, Toots and Matey had played the night before, okay. and they were in, like the same sort of backstage room, and like they had like, their poster up and like. Their band name was under it, so I thought that was really cool. <laughs> so I took that and still, like, kind of took it. So I was um, here. I was there. That night was expected. Oh. Ah, you were there. <laughs> Paid uh, ten pounds for a ticket, to Paddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so. Alex, not leaving you. You've also played at the Cavern Club. Is that a bit oh. of a dream come true? It, to be honest, it, it wasn't actually that great a gig. Like, <laughs> it was. Um, it's more like any tourist attracts in the Cavern Club. But I think like there wasn't. It's not really much a live music venue in my opinion, but it was a good one to tick off. Obviously, because just the history of the place. But uh, yeah. It's a good experience. So. Well, we loved your performance, but what do you guys get up to in your spare time? Any special hobbies? Oh, mainly writing and stuff like that. Maybe yeah. a lot of writing. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's always about the music, really. I mean, I'm, mm. I'm quite a family person, so I'm just kind of a bit of a home bird. But in my spare time, I just like to keep writing. And, yeah, okay. so. so what's upcoming for Friday night then? Anything we should be keeping our eye out on? Gigs. <laughs> more songs. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, more songs, more gigs. We've got a performance in the Student Union coming up. Do you want to tell us about yeah, that? Yeah. Oh, you know about that? I've been in the 17th. Um, it's a sort of all day thing. Okay. Um, but like, we've, we'll get like, the times and stuff. We'll get the dates up on our Facebook page, but like, we'll get the times and that up as well. Great. So um, you said Facebook, obviously. Do you have Twitter and such as well that your fans would know yeah, about so that they can keep in contact? We've, we've got a, a website that kind of links out to all of them. It's FridayNightsBlog.wordpress.com and, and there's like, links to Facebook, SoundCloud and all the rest of it. So. Definitely going to log on when I get home and get that one checked yeah. out then. I yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> so let's get to know more about you guys. Okay. If you could <laughs> change your name to another night of the week, what would it be? Oh. Um, oh Don't say Saturday. None of the Saturday night Saturday. beaver nonsense. I would do it. I would make it Mursday. It's, <laughs> it's a combination <laughs> between Monday and Thursday because they're my two favourite days good of the answer. week. answer. Paddy? Um, definitely yeah. Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. There you go. Right. That's my favourite night of the week. Any particular reason for that? Um, <laughs> oh, that's it's normally my days off. So <laughs> Aye, it's my yeah. day off as well. Yeah, so that's fine. Yeah. So. so who's more of the ladies' man in the group then? I would have to say Paddy. <laughs> I think he's, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a few years older than Paddy, so I've got the more mature approach to the ladies. I'm not, I'm not playing the field anymore, but he's, he's still out there. <laughs> so there you go. And the better looking then? Oh, that's got to be me. I mean, you're just like the last one. So, just give me one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll go for that one. Well, I think you both look good, so. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. And <laughs> final question: Your best pickup line when you guys are on a night out. Pickup line. Uh, let me think. Um, <laughs> Santa must have come early this year because you were first in our Christmas list. <laughs> That's mine. Oh, man. Top I lap, that, that one Go on. Um, <laughs> I never really use them, like so. Uh, you got any others you can? Oh, you can help me I normally get shot doing it that one. Oh, do <laughs> I don't tend to use them. Like. So, yeah. Are you a bit shy around girls then? No, I'm not a bit shy. I just don't like pick up lines. I don't, never really want to. I'm fairly <laughs> straight to the point. That kind of thing. Yep. So thanks to my new favourite duo, Friday Nights, for joining us tonight. It's been a great show, but it's now time for our last band of the evening and what a band they are. Hi, uh, we're Where We Lay Our Heads. Um, I'm Wal. I pretend to play guitar and sing. I'm Stuart, I play drums. And I'm Alison, I play violin and refuse to sing. Um, also today our normal bass player and keys, Danny and Alice, they can't make it, so we brought along Josh and Eleanor who have kindly agreed to fill in for us. Where we lay our heads to step to
from our final band of the night, we're really our heads, singing Bear You. Joining me now from the band are Alison, Will and Stuart. Come on in guys. Have a seat. Thanks for joining us, welcome to the show. You describe yourselves as awkward pop. What's that all about? Um, I don't know, I suppose awkward pop kind of maybe reflects uh, as a bit personal on stage, like I suppose you could say we're not the most like outlandish, confident band at points, or I suppose like awkward to sort of the way I speak, the way I'm kind of struggling to get this sentence out to begin with, <laughs> and pop because, I don't know, if, I, I can't listen to music unless it has a really good pop hook to it really, I think that that's what really makes our music great, I think, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So the two boys, and, sorry, two girls and three boys in the band, do you guys mm. hang about a lot or? It depends. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. we can. Alice makes good cakes, so it's always good to go into hers. That's always nice then, yeah. Enjoy them, but <laughs> usually just see each other at the studio. When we've got something big coming up, we tend to spend quite a lot of time yeah. around each other planning and stuff, so, yeah. <laughs> and then when our big things done, we spend as little time as possible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here at Alison and Stuart spend a lot of time together. Yes. Yeah. That little. <laughs> Something, um, something there? Oh, well, we've been living together for two years, so oh, wow. there's that, and then been together for six and a bit years yeah. now, so it's been a while. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. We're going with a little Mr. and Mrs. quiz to see if you two actually know as much as about <laughs> each other as you do. We've got Ruth here, who's going to be handing you bits of paper, and what's going to happen is we're going to ask you questions about one another, so you're going to answer about your fellow. Okay. Your fellow will answer questions about you. <laughs> you guys ready? Question one. What is your favourite film? Mm. Mm. So you're writing his answer and you're writing hers. <laughs> oh. Come on, Stuart, you should know her better than that. <laughs> and question two. What celebrity do you have a crush on? And your final question is, what is each other's most annoying habit? Oh, here now. <laughs> no list, we just want one answer. <laughs> um, is it his most annoying habit, about, like what you find most annoying about me? Or what no, no, what you find him? most annoying about him. It's always um, best to go that way. <laughs> so you guys ready? Okay. Can reveal your answers? I think so. So for your favourite film, Alison, what do you have down? I have it Star Wars. Should That's wait. probably a fair shout. Yeah. Well done, Alison. <laughs> and yourself? Uh, Aristocats. Ooh, okay, you guys did well there. Okay. Question two answers. 
right? Oh. I've got Benny Grab. That's definitely true, yeah. <laughs> I've got a proper man crush on that one, yeah. <laughs> and Stuart, what did you have done? Uh, I, I, I really couldn't think, but it would, I'm, I'm guessing it would probably be... Brad Pitt? No. More... <laughs> Some crazy scientist, probably. But, uh, no, it's uh, Brian Cox. That's <laughs> definitely who it would be. Oh, yeah. And most annoying habit? Um, finding odd socks in the wash. Oh, I've, never find that as well, yeah. I've got general messiness. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's organised mess. I know where everything is. Mm. Well, thanks for that, guys. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> well, your Sky song was playing by Jim Galilee on the radio. Was that a bit of exciting news for you guys to hear that? Um, yeah, well, it's always nice to get, uh, give it a radio play. Like, um, Keanu was really received in Bury You um, that we played earlier on. Um, well, that got played two weeks in a row on BBC One, which was nice when that was out. So, yeah, it's always great that it's getting out there and more people hearing it. <laughs> That's great. So do you think he asked, uh, gave you any tips, influences, anything such? Oh, Jim says it was getting better every time he heard it, so that's nice. Great. And I noticed that you were quite rambunctious when you were on stage. Do you use a special <laughs> hair product to get that extra little bounce in yourself? Uh, or? No, no, it's all me. It's all me. <laughs> all natural. <laughs> 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 Any upcoming gigs for you guys? Uh, we've got May the 19th down in Dumfries for Come Along and Rocks. Yep. Um, cool. Playing alongside, we've got Three Blind Bulls, Bacovey. Yeah, a selection of fantastic Don't Freeze Your Bands. Exactly. Yes, that's <laughs> great. And you guys have also brought in a CD. Do you want to tell us a little about that and what was involved in the making of it? Yeah, I mean, we, we basically we needed to try and get some money together to record our proper big EP, so we decided to make that as a bit of a fundraiser, so it's just entirely self-recorded, self-packaged, the whole thing, kind of from start to finish, we Got did ourselves. Multitasking band. <laughs> yeah, there was frantic spray painting the night before the launch on all the... <laughs> So if your fans want to hear more about you, are you guys on Facebook, Twitter, anything like that? Um, yeah, the oh. Twitter is at WWLOH, mm -hmm. right? yeah. mm -hmm. and search for some Facebook. We've also got a new big cartel set up as well, so that's www.wherewelyourheads.com and SoundCloud, I think. Oh, on the Bandcamp. Bandcamp, that's it, yeah. Yeah, buy yeah. our stuff off Bandcamp so then we can record. Yeah. <laughs> The, those and the badges for our single are for sale on yeah. the Big Cartel page. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, thanks very much for coming in, guys. And you're about to play your new single, Keanu Leaves, for us. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for all the bands joining us for another great edition of Megan's Music Monday. Before we go, I want to tell you about some great gigs in the, around the Glasgow area. Mina Delilah are playing at the Classic Grand on Friday the 3rd of May. Sternaway-based songwriter, The Boy Who Trapped the Sun, will be playing at a fantastic set at King Tut's on Monday the 6th of May. And last but definitely not least, the Stag and D Dagger Festival is coming on Saturday 18th of May in and around several venues in Glasgow with bands such as Fatherson, Randall Sleep and United Fruit. Are all set for a perform, check more info on the website. We'll be back again, but for now, get up one more time for Where We Lay Our Heads, playing us their new song, Keanu Leaves. Take it away, guys. Yeah.